Hey, this is Jeremy Manwaring and Chad Murdoch and Jessica Carden. We're here with hey the Murdoch Manwaring Company. Say hi, guys. Hello, hello. We want to do a quick video on what's happening in the market. It feels like we've been already two years into just the you know eight and a half months of the year. So let's get right into what's going on and how that could affect your values. Hey, before um, Jeremy goes in, by the way, if you love these stats, please make sure to like and follow this page. And if you go to mmcidaho.com, at the top, you can get these stats and the longer version in your email. And there's a link in the description. If you want to hear the whole discussion, which is about 30 minutes, head on over there. Your yep. airplane, Jeremy. So here we are. We've got uh, Bonneville being in Jefferson counties. Last year, we already had 295. This year, we've only sold 234 homes. That's a 21% decrease right now. So we are feeling less transactions because of some of the changes in the rate. This slide kind of shows the, the dollar per foot. Last year, right now, we were at 140. Right now, we're at 168. But look at in, the, in between there. You guys have any comments about what's happened on the, the monthly and then the overall? Well, well we saw it going oh, go up. We saw it going up. And now when rates went up, now we're kind of seeing it go back down again. And so we're seeing the market soften and we're seeing you know, rates doing what they're supposed to do. So, And I think on that price per square foot, we have to remember that's an average of the whole market. And as prices go up and rates change, the higher end slows down. So that will bring your average price per square foot because higher end homes, we won't see as many sell. That's an excellent point. So that, that's the overall. So don't look at your house and say that mine is worth this much per foot. It's got to go per per yeah. uh, price point. Exactly. Yeah, you can't slide use that with take most homes. That's right. This slide's going to take a minute because when rates did change, you're going to see how it affected the, the market. For the first year, we were up 9.7% up until April, end of March, at 1st of April. Then we went down and the average price uh, totally came down, but we have a net 2.4 for the year to date. And so that, that does take into account every price point, but we are seeing a net still for the year. What do you guys think is going to happen for the rest of the year? Um, I think we're going to continue downward and we'll probably end um, in negative appreciation for 2022. And actually, I hope that's what happens because we need to, you know, we need to Able have this settle right? down a little bit. What do you think, Jess? Yeah, I think that in that, as, as we slow, we'll see that that um, that average sale price come down. But again, I want to make sure we understand that doesn't mean your house because that takes That's into right. account the entire market. And so you want to make sure to, if you're worried about yours, come to us and, and we'll get specific about yours. Good point. Last year, we were getting right about over what we were asking at this time of year. Look at this year, we're taking a 7% decrease overall in the market from our original price to our sold price. So we're asking 100,000, we're only getting 93 right now. So we and are I seeing that there's some pressure on that downward side of about 8%. And I think that's really indicative for sellers to realize you can't shoot for the moon right now. There's more inventory, which means the supply and demand has changed. You've got to price correctly and look really good. We're back to how it normally is, which means you got to look good and you got to price right. Otherwise, you're going to have to come down. Buyers still decide what the price is. Yep. So and I think last, it, last know, people, month, the prices are lower. I mean, they're yeah. going down. So. Last month, we had a, a 289 transactions or houses that went under contracts, 21% fell apart or went out of the market after they went pending. We do not want to see that continuing because we want to get solid deals. On top of that, 114 people said, hey, I'm not selling anymore. The market's tightening up. I can't get what I thought I could, I could get. And so I quit. And that's what that withdrew. Uh, looks like. And I think that's a different than, than and when you think about withdrawal, that means sellers are saying, hey, I am I'm going ready. to just decide to withdraw. It wasn't an expiration. We just decided based on the market. Right. So this month, there's only 653 homes listed. That's five and a half percent down. Um, now, what we're looking at is still just about three percent or three months of inventory, which means six months is balanced. So we're still on the seller side of the balanced market, meaning buyers are still having a shortage on the inventory. And we're going to see that uh, this year is going to be fun, full of the fun things. They're saying inflation may not have slowed down. They may make another increase in rates. What's your prediction real quick, Chad? I think uh, rates, I mean, there's no question the feds are going to continue to raise rates. And if we don't get inflation down, 
They're going to raise mortgage interest rates as well. Gas prices haven't had much of an effect on the economy, even though they're down. And so they're going to have to do more until it's down. Prices are going to go up or down for housing. Down. Down. Jessica. I I think that we're going to see a steady. I think the listing prices will you'll see come down. People will see an adjustment until they get to the market. Um, I think interest rates, people still have to buy and sell homes. They don't always do it in a way that they're choosing. They have to buy and sell. So I think we'll see the market just slow a little bit, but I do not think we're going to see a decrease, a significant decrease. I bet we're going to be a little stable versus last year. All right, we'll see what happens. There's a lot lot going on. If you want the full video with all the stats and more details per page and lots more slides, go to our website, right? That's right. View out of false houses or MMC. Idaho.com or go ahead and follow us on the social media you're watching this on right now. Thanks for tuning in. See you next month. See you next time. Bye-bye.